Hey guys, welcome to a repeat edition of this uh, video. And as last time, I was informed by a couple of people who I thank very much that the uh, video paused halfway through. So I'm going to give it a shot at re-recording and hopefully get it done a bit quicker this time as well. So I'll be sure to proof watch it before I put it up. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Anyways, if you didn't see my last video, I just wanted to share a couple of customs. Now the first one I wanted to start off with was Darth Maul, the Mandalorian Clone Wars realistic one that I made. Um, I bought the Mission Series Darth Maul that come with the Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I really wasn't a fan, but I did have plans um, to, to make him animated, basically. Give him a little bit more articulation and just make a definitive, or not definitive, but a good looking Clone Wars animated version of that particular Darth Maul. Um, so what I was able to do was give him a little bit of wrist articulation just there at the top of the gloves on each arm. And also gave him some knee articulation which took a little bit of work inserting those uh, ball hinges. But got there. It's not doesn't look the best, especially there's a little bit of a gap, but I'm, like I said last time, I'm going to be working on some moulding, so hopefully I can add a little bit just to sort of tighten up those gaps just a little bit. You can sort of see there what it looks like. That's, it was tricky to get those ball hinges in there. A lot of cutting and slicing and cutting bits out and... Yeah, sticking ball hinges from another figure in there. It was it was a messy job, but I got there in the end. And, uh, yeah, it was just a matter of taking off the animated existing animated Darth Maul's neck and gluing it onto the top of this figure once I'd removed the head. So worked out reasonably well. So I did sort of add a little bit of paint, and I need to change that to a matte finish. It was a bit too glossy for the rest of the figure so we'll tidy that up with a nice matte coat at some point. I did give did create another dark saber using a G.I. Joe Samurai sword. I just matched it up and painted it so <laughs> bit of a dark saber. So he worked out quite well, I'm reasonably happy with him. And uh, yeah he looks good next to Savage Press on my shelf so I will be on the hunt for another animated Darth Maul the existing one with the robot legs so so then I can have both of them and uh, the second one I was working on um, a few months ago now is Lord Vindican um, you guys probably recognize this guy from one of the old Republic trailers um, with him and Darth Malgus. This guy is Darth Malgus's uh, master, so decided to have a go at him. I had a spared Darth Bane figure, which wasn't complete, so I wasn't too afraid to screw him up. As you can see, I used the head of Darth Bane to get this guy. It's a case of sort of cutting, slicing a little bit out of his cheeks and then putting, gluing two little pieces of plastic into place, so could certainly do with a little bit of tidy up, but I'm happy with it. So, um, yeah, melted the scar into his head. If I can get it to focus up and be closer, it'd be nice, but it's not going to happen for me at the moment. So just sort of a bit of a weathering mixed coat of red and a little bit of black mixed in there just to give that skin tone a little bit of imperfection, I guess. Um, the body, I used a Darth Sidious, a few other different elements. That's from Darth Bane. can't remember what the belt's from. I think that was Darth Bane too, actually. Um, the straps that sort of come down the sides and are over the back are from a Sand Trooper rifle. That's the shoulder plates are from the... Well, the shoulder armor there is from the uh, Royal Guard from the last wave of the Vintage Collection. The lightsaber, I just used another spare Darth Maul. Glued some little bits and glued some other bits on the ends of the uh, emitters there. And a little bit of paint work just to differentiate it a little bit. 
So this is a nice little challenge. I think I did this over a weekend, but come out all right. Still want to add some different paint apps to it. I want to fix that belt. I just bought myself some paints uh, the other night, so hopefully I can got a little bit more range in colour now. So I was working on another figure, and I did show that in the video, but I'll sort of I'll put him aside for now because. I've given him a coat of primer and it's really hard to go by what he looks like with that primer on. So once I get a little bit further in that process, I will show you. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys these two. So yeah, I managed to keep that to about six minutes, which is a few minutes better. So hopefully it doesn't pause in between. Um, like I said, I will watch it back and upload it. So thanks for watching again, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be back with some more videos very soon. So until then, may the force be with you.